Big Spy Routines is one of the best automation tools in smartphones today, and it allows you to execute certain tasks without having to manually do so. I have a few routines that I'll be showing you, so if you have your device with you, you can implement it along with me. So over here, I have the Wi-Fi strength routine. So this has been preset. I'll show you the triggers and what is the execution plan. So I'll just tap on it. And at the top, we have the trigger. And at the bottom, we have the execution task. Both must be configured in order for the routine to work. So for the trigger, let's just have a look at it. So right now, we are at one bar or less. You can go up to two bars or three bars for the Wi-Fi strength. We'll just stick to one bar and we'll tap on done. And for the execution task, we'll tap on Wi-Fi and then it'll be turned off. So the rationale behind this is when the Wi-Fi strength is weak, your phone will actually actively look for stronger Wi-Fi and this is very draining for your battery. Hence, it's recommended that the Wi-Fi is switched off when Wi-Fi strength is weak. To create a new routine, tap on the plus icon at the top and then we'll add the triggers here. So right now we'll go with the battery level. So we'll tap on this. Okay, and instead of 5%, we'll go with uh, 10%. Okay, and for the options, we will go for below instead of equal to or above. So once done, we can just tap on this. And now our criteria is set. We'll set up the execution plan. And this time around, we'll go for power saving and we want the power saving to be turned on. And at the bottom, when routine ends, we also have to set an action. So we'll tap on this and then we want the power saving to return back to its original setting. In this case, it'll be turned off. Okay, let's tap done. And once we are good with these routine settings, we will tap on save. Over here, we'll set up the appearance. So the logo, the name, and at the bottom, we have a wide range of logos to choose from. Let's change the color of this logo to orange. Okay, and it all looks good. We'll tap on done. And there you have it. The battery level routine has been added. So now let's move on to the next routine. This time around, we'll try something different. I'll hit the plus icon and we'll add a trigger. And this time around, it'll be the charging status. Yes, this one. And we'll go for the charging status for both wired and wireless. And we'll tap on done. And for the execution task, we'll go ahead and select this. And we'll search for AOD. AOD stands for always on display. So we want it to be on to show the clock. And at the bottom, you'll be set to always. What this means is that when your phone is charging, the always on display will be turned on. Okay, let's head back. And the configurations are okay. And when the routine ends, we want the always on display to return back to its original settings. And that may be auto or even tap to show. Okay, let's save it. And this time around, we also have a look at the icons, the name, the colors. And let's go for the green color. I just want to point out that if you like to select a photo from a gallery to replace your icon, that is possible as well. Okay, there you have it. The charging routine has been added. So the next routine will be especially useful if you use YouTube very frequently. So I'll just proceed to add the new routine. For the trigger, it will be the app open trigger. Okay, yes, this one. And we'll look for YouTube. Okay, and we'll tap on this. And we will select done. So our criteria is set. Now for the execution, we'll select screen orientation. And we'll select landscape. And we'll tap on done. Okay, so when the routine ends, we want to set the action such that the screen orientation returns back to its original setting. Okay, so over here, we will just uh, have a look at the logo, the name, colors. We'll just change it and then we tap on done. There you have it. The YouTube routine has been added. If you use Google Pay or any other e-wallets, then the next feature that I'm going to share with you is one that you want to try out. So we will now add in the trigger. It will be app open as well. And we'll look for Google Pay. Okay, and then we also add in another app called Wallet. Just type that out. And yes, this is the one. And we'll tap on done. And the criteria is set. As for the execution, 
we'll look for NFC so we'll just type that out yes this is the one and we want it to be turned on and when routine ends we want the NFC to be turned off okay and then we will save this so likewise you have to configure the name the colors and there are also quite a wide range of uh, logos for you to choose from I didn't find one that really suits this use case, but I'll just uh, go with something I like. So I'll just select this. Okay, and I'll tap done. And there you have it, the GPA or wallet routine has been added. So now that we have quite a number of routine, I will just move on to the next one. So we'll just uh, add a trigger. And this time around, we'll select a time trigger. So there are both the specific time and time period. We'll go for the specific time one. So over here, you're just choosing a particular time of the day or week. And let's try out the time period. Over here, we can set a start and end time. So for the start time, let's go with, let's say 10 p.m. And we'll set zero minutes. Okay, and then for the end time, we'll go for, let's say 8 a.m and likewise zero minutes okay done i think i've forgotten to set the day we want it to be every day instead of uh, just a friday okay so we'll tap on done and in terms of the execution let's go with the brightness and we'll drop it to 15 percent so we might not need uh, 30 percent as uh, most likely i'll be in a dark room so i will not need that extra brightness Okay, and then let's scroll down. You are free to add in any execution task that you wish to add in. For now, I'll just uh, keep things simple. So I'll save it. And now we are back to this appearance setting exercise. As you can see, it's quite a repetitive process, but we'll just have to go through it. So I will not make any changes. I'll just tap on done. And our time period routine has been added. So right now, I'll just move on to our final routine. This is a special one. So I'll add in the trigger. We'll have the app open as the trigger. And we'll look for notes. Okay. And then now let's select our execution. We want the screen timeout over here. Okay. And we we'll set it at 10 minutes. So this has been set up. And when the routine ends, we also want the action to be reverted back to its original setting. So we just tap on this and yes, so it is turned on. So the rationale behind this routine is such that when you're taking notes and then you're just waiting for someone to speak, sometimes you might need some time and you don't want the screen to time out. So over here, as you can see, we have created quite a number of routines. So go ahead and try out these routines. In the beginning, it might be a bit tough, but as you go along and try different routines out, try different triggers and execution tasks, you'll find it easier.